Okay, so this has to be the second best part of the whole park after the Pamakuli pools. So, this is what they call Cleopatra pool. This is where Cleopatra used to swim. Here they done it really nice, as you can see. It's a very big area as well. And this is Cleopatra pool. And as you can see, there's the old stones underneath. It's quite big. You have to pay to swim here, 200 lira, and you have to leave yourself, your things in the locker. So I'm gonna get myself a ticket, go in from there, no video or anything is allowed, unfortunately, but while I'm here, I have to swim in Cleopatra pool. So, I got my ticket, 200 lira, to be able to swim in Cleopatra's pool. So in total, it's 700 to actually come into Pamukale, and 200 lira to swim in the pool. That's 900 Turkish lira in total. But now I must go and get a locker, because I need to put my things and my camera and my pouch and the rest of my clothes inside the locker which I believe they are around here I got the ticket friend locker friend, locker from there? Okay. so yeah the lockers are here now very good so this is the locker key I'm number 55. I paid them 20 lira, but apparently you get the 20 lira back when you return the key. So now I have to put my mobile away. So, I'm all wet now. <laughs> I swam in Cleopatra's pool. The water is hot. In fact, the air is warm, but when you come out, it feels like you are cold. The water coming out, and even from there, you can stay like this with your back, you know, and it's nice. And then when you go and swim on the other side, it's even deep, more than 3.5 meters. And there is stones, in the middle and everything. It was a very nice experience. See, there is all these stones here. And there, behind that wire, it's very deep. And it goes, it goes in there. And you can swim until where the barriers are. Now, me, when I went to the barriers, I felt it warmer, the water. And uh, it goes on and it keeps, when you look from, from behind the barriers there, it's really nice and it comes from far away, the water, you know? Really nice experience. I know you have to pay extra, but you know, you are here, you're only here once. You know, you say to yourself, you know, I swam in Cleopatra's pool. <laughs> and it's nice, it's warm. A lot of people do it. And who doesn't? It's because maybe they forgot to bring their swimming costume. I didn't bring a towel with me, so I have to dry naturally now. 
so I have to stay <laughs> walking around a little bit. Good job now the sun came out, so I dry quicker. It's a very nice area here. The ruins keeps going all the way up there. Maybe I go up there now, you know. And it's really organized, you know. There's even showers here and cabins where to change. I don't know why I should have a shower or not because I'm almost drying now, you know. And I get more wet. But I don't know if I should leave this water on me. Maybe I'll take a shower. So, up here, you go from this way. It's like hiking, you see? And I guess it's all the way up there. There's something to do with St. Philip. I cannot understand. And there was some kind of hammam from them days. You know, all them ruins, I guess, they're up there, look. And all them small houses there. Let me make it. Okay, maybe you can see better. See? Okay, apparently up here there is St. Philip tomb and church. I didn't know that St. Philip was living here and died here, you know? Really, I didn't know. So, I'm still climbing. Look. See, I just climbed all the way. <laughs> but now I'm gonna go in here. Okay, this theater I'm about to go in, it was used by the late Roman times, dating 352 AD. Wow. Oh. Wow, this is something I say. <laughs> so beautiful. Considering how old he is, eh? Almost 2,000 years old. When people clap, it's echoing down there, look. That's why they're all clapping. I was wondering, you know, when you clap up here, it echoes down there, down there at the bottom, look. It's impressive, eh? Really. Better state, better condition than the Colosseum, I guess, in Rome. And this is in Turkey. Seriously. Okay, I came to film at one side of it just to give an idea how big this theater is. So they used to have entrances from here. Entrances from here as well. Amazing, really something else. Wow, the amount of historical ruins there is in this place, it's beyond belief, really.
and it's all signposted so you can read and from what year and what it was and this and that so this is what it used to be like nicer and it's from 222 to 235 AD So this is the Frontenius Gate and where I just walked from was the Frontenius Street and these are the leftovers of the gate. This goes back to 84 AD. 84 AD. Okay, here another section from the park it's like some kind of museum so while I'm here I'm gonna have a quick look around and see what it's all about <laughs> normally I don't really go into details and stuff like this you know it's probably going to be all old stones. Yeah, I can see it from here. All old stones with writing underneath. I mean, there is people, you know, that they like these things and probably they will spend the whole day here, you know, looking. But for the video, I just uh, take a quick look around. So who wants to come or he's never been and you can see this part as well. I mean, it's interesting if you are into these things, you know. Roman period, beginning of the 11th century AD. Hierapolis. <laughs> then as well, you can walk around the grounds of this museum. It's, it's quite a big area actually and then again you've got more of these things from years and years and years ago all well preserved all with writing underneath each and every one of them explaining in details every single one what it's all about it's very well done up and preserved nice to walk around and so on and so on so now i am entering the fortress this is the largest monument dating to the Middle Ages. It includes a defensive wall with three squares. Towers with two stories that closes a tongue of land above the natural travert travertine basins that overlook Pamukkale and the Lag Lycos Valley. So, that is some information where I'm coming in. This is all part of the entrance that I paid. Even this section. So, I guess this is the last thing I'll be doing. I think I done most of everything. I really enjoyed myself. I didn't think I was going to stay here this long. 
But I didn't think it was this big and this interesting because it's not just Pamukale, what we see on the photos, them white bats. But it's Cleopatra Pool and all the ruins. And that theater, it really impressed me, that theater. It's unbelievable. I hope you are enjoying this video. It's almost coming to the end now. Please do come. If I had to do it again, I would sleep tonight in Pamukale. There's lots of hotels. I saw them when I was driving to here. 